This is the final resting place of Sadie Patterson. As you'll see from her headstone here, uh, it com she is commemorated as an Irish peacemaker. And above her name is a representation of the World Methodist Peace Award that she received in 1977. Sadie was born on 5th November 1904. She began working at Ewart's Mills on the Crumlin Road in North Belfast, aged only 14. She then became involved in workers' rights and unionism, and then by 1940, she led a call for the unionisation of the Ewart's workforce and led 2,000 women on strike for seven weeks. That strike was successful, and the, the striking woman received better pay and sick leave and holiday pay. Patterson began working full time for the Transport and General Workers Union where she had a special responsibility for women, a, a position she held for 20 years. She was also an active member in the Girls Club Union for 50 years. In the 1945 election campaign, she worked for the Northern Ireland Labour Party. In 1953, she was awarded an MBE. From 1973, City Patterson went on to get involved in the peace marches. She was a founder of the Women Together and then People Together and the evolution into the the peace people, and she led women in marches. In total, she received five international peace awards. David Blakely, the, another former Labour politician, wrote a biography of, of her life called Sadie Patterson, Irish Peacemaker. He wrote it in 1980. So Patterson died in 1985, and she's commemorated on a blue plaque, an Ulster History Circle blue plaque on the Shankill Road at the Methodist Church. That was Sadie Patterson.